Well, hello there, it's Green and welcome to another Speed Beat. So as you can see this week we are changing things up a bit and instead of taking a screenshot of the exterior every few minutes and filming the interior I decided to film everything and the reason why I did that to be honest was the previous two weeks because the builds that I am doing lately are so heavily focused on the outside when I go to the inside, I realize, like, you know, to furnish the build, I realize that there is not much to do. And when taking screenshots, you miss a lot of the action and a lot of the details that go to create, you know, a well-detailed outside. So I was like, you know what? Let's try it this week. And one of the reasons why I specifically did it with this build is I have this Pinterest board that has so many builds that I have pinned to do. And to be completely honest with you, some of them I just want to see them come to life in The Sims. And I have no intention of furnishing them. And I thought that was one of the builds. So I felt like, you know, instead of doing um, room builds, I might as well do, you know, exterior of builds. That would be more fun for me. And to be completely honest with you, I totally thought that this was going to be one of those builds, um, you know, that started the whole sequence of building outside, like, you know, unfurnished builds and not room builds. Uh, but it, it was. <laughs> I got so excited over how it looked and the idea behind it that I just, I couldn't stop building. I was so happy and I'm so happy with the final results, so I really hope you guys will like it too. So, um, as I told you, I have this big Pinterest board that I've been getting inspiration for the past two builds and this one obviously as well. So it's another illustration, I wanna say, and as per usual, I will link in the description and I will add a picture in the video so you can see how the original looked like and how I translated that to The Sims. So if you will notice, the original image has a cauldron up in the front. And I really liked that idea and I built off that idea. So I decided to make it as a witch hat and you notice it has this strong Spanish vibe. And I was so happy with that because I haven't built a span I haven't done a Spanish build for so long. Um, I think it was during this summer last year when I started doing all the island living and Spanish builds that it just, I couldn't stop. I didn't want to do anything else. And I think we hit that point again. <laughs> um, but yeah, so I was trying to kind of mimic how the build looked like. And it had those arches, those red ones that I used from Jungle Adventures. It didn't really have those, but I decided to go with those because they had the match to build. And those arches dictated the entire, you know, um, vibe of the build. Uh, because they are from Jungle Adventures and because I really wanted to use the, as you can see, the fireplace and that water fountain sink again from jungle adventures which i was so sure it's a usable item like i was so sure but it's from debug and i had stuck for so long trying to find it on the actual build and buy menu that i got insane anyways moving on because i used these items um i was like oh that looks cool but originally as you can see i had placed it on oasis springs uh, but as I started landscaping it, because yeah, okay, it looks cool here, it looks pretty much like the original. Um, but I started using the plants from Jungle Adventures and then everything snowballed. Uh, because I decided that I want to do this as... Before I wasn't really sure, like I just knew that I wanted to do something with witches because the front of the illustration had this cauldron and I was like, that's so cute. Uh, but I decided, you know, how some cultures have like old people who use like hair remedies and stuff like that um, to make you feel better and like, oh, you have the sneeze, take this herb or do that. 
And I felt like that would be so cute because like obviously Salva Dorada has a huge history in The Sims and like it's very cultural place. So I thought how cute would it be, you know, for some people to say that, you know, these women back in the day were witches and used herbs to cure people and stuff like that. So I moved the entire build to Salva Dorada. I changed a lot the exterior like you will see that the landscaping transforms the building which i always think it does like it gives it a completely different vibe and i also inspired this like thing inspired me to do the interior which it has like some cute stuff like vials and stuff like that from um what is the Spellcaster build? Build? No. Pack in the Sims? Uh, it's not making magic. I don't recall, but you know what I'm talking about. So, it has like elements of the Salvadoradian culture and it also has like little tidbits of magic. And I love it. I had so much fun building it. Um, that's why I added the statue, as you can see, like in the front, I think. Like, easily the woman in the statue could be, you know, the person who initiated or built the whole place. And some people thought that she was a witch because she cured people and stuff like that. So, what else? Oh, the logs. So, the logs were on the first bit, like the illustration, and I really liked them there. It took forever to actually add them. And I had such a big trouble trying to find, you know, how you will showcase the logs. Because the original had this big art, um, but I couldn't add an art and that, you know, matched the theme and it was three wide. So I decided to go with the art from Cats and Dogs, which kind of color matched the build. It didn't really have the Spanish Salvadoradian vibe, but I thought, you know what, why not? And you will see that because it's obviously like a medium high art and the walls are small high i was like okay big brain thought i have the tool mod and you will see that i used it a lot i tried cutting most of the experimenting like you will see that i used it in the pipes of the build to have like the curves and like the angles the original had and i'm like Okay, I'm using it always, like very often lately, to when you landscape, if you play The Sims and you build in The Sims, you know when you landscape and you have terraformed the ground, the plants will float above the ground, which is so frustrating. And a lot of builders want like how you can raise objects up, you can raise them down. So I decided, you know what, that's a very long story to tell you that I essentially <laughs> uh, lowered the arts to the ground and I thought, oh my god, I'm such a genius and it works perfectly, it doesn't cut through the wall. And then I went on the inside uh, way later on and I decided that I don't like the arches because for Spanish arches we have those that are one high for small high walls and medium high walls, we have a double tile art, a white art. And it didn't really fit, obviously. So I was like, ooh, I can do that. Like, you know, I can lower it to the ground. However, it suddenly doesn't work. The sim can't pass through an art or a door that has been lowered to the ground. Because I find myself very often wanting to use a door that it's medium height and the walls that I have are small height and I was like I was so happy that I could lower it to the ground and I didn't thought of that before so yeah it doesn't work it subtle doesn't work I also tried it with in a different bill that will probably come out next week with doors it doesn't work there either and I was so bummed I thought it was such a clever idea so here is where everything honestly transforms and the result, I love it. I so love it. Like, you don't even know how happy I am. I was thinking while editing this, 
And after I edited it, I decided, you know what, let's start next week's build. Um, and I went to the game and I'm like, okay, what am I gonna build for next week? And I was scrolling, you know, for ideas and I'm like, I don't know how I will ever go back to building just houses. Because this type of builds that, let me be honest, have no actual use, are so fun to build. Like, I always strive to do houses and useful community lots that I will see myself using because, well, the truth is, those get the most downloads. Building an um, raft or like a beach hut in the middle of the ocean for someone who is a castaway, it's super fun, but it's never going to have enough downloads because no one cares, right? Like, it has to be some sort of a talent or a very, very specific sort of gameplay storytelling. And same case as this bit, for example, like, who is going to need a bar? <laughs> that, like in the Salvadoradian culture, it also has elements in Salvadorada and obviously not in uh, the place, I don't recall, the name of the pack, I don't recall the name of the word that came with the spellcasters, but like, you know, in that word, if you made a bar for spellcasters, it's like obvious. But like, if you do it in Salvadorada, who's gonna care? No one. This build is going to get zero downloads. But I'm having so much fun building these things. And like, I don't know, I think you need to have a balance. Obviously, you need to build stuff that you enjoy, but also like to keep yourself relevant and kind of like people to actually care for your builds because otherwise why would anyone follow you? They need to have stuff that they can download and use. <laughs> and I'm like, I don't know how I will ever go back to building houses. Like this is so fun for me. It's so fun. It's, it's stupid. It's everything that I am. I was never a serious person. I'm a very quiet person who doesn't speak a lot, who doesn't kid around a lot, and it's very, like, tucked in a corner. But, like, when I make friends and when I open up to people, those people know <laughs> that I'm nothing but a huge joke. Like, I, I'm, just, I'm just like that as a person, and I don't <laughs> see myself doing serious builds anymore. Like, I have this grand, grand library that the exterior took me ages because it's so detailed and it's like amazing to look at at least you know in my personal opinion but i can't bring myself to furnish it because it's too serious it's such a serious library i'm like i don't want to do that and i have so many unfinished builds but they're not stupid i don't want to do them and like i don't know <laughs> It's been tough. I'm having a cu tough couple of days. And I can't say that with more sarcasm. Because, like, it's it's not tough. I'm just joking. And I should probably make that clear. So, I am pretty much done with the landscaping. And that tree, honestly, with Jungle Adventures, I really feel like it transformed the entire build. Because, obviously, as you can see, it's a very small build. And I was really concerned of how I am going to fill the extra space. And that build, not on that build, that tree not only filled the extra space, but it gave it such like a magical look, like tucked away in like hidden vibes, and I loved it. So here I was testing the arts, it didn't really work. I decided to go with a different art. So something that took forever, like, and when I say forever, I actually mean it, is building the bar, the interior. I cut a lot of it because like the actual bar, you know, where people get the drinks, not like the bar of the place. Um, I wasn't sure what I wanted to do. And you will see that the space is very tiny. Like, what is it? Three by four. This means that there's not enough space for a bar. So I decided to alter a bit the build without changing too much of the look of it. Because it's in the back, you don't really get to see it, and it still has the exact same look. But that gave me a bit of extra space. 
And then I had an issue of how to make the bar. I mean, with what counters and what type of bar and how that would look. And my first thought was obviously let's use the Salvador Adrian bar, but that didn't work because it doesn't come with much encounters. And that sometimes is fine, but when you want to be like a full-blown bar, it doesn't really work. And then here we go. I decided to go with the modern because I saw like pictures of actual bars that were like Spanish inspired and stuff like that. And a lot of them had like an accent wall with tiles and I really liked that. And I went with these tiles because I kind of like the blue, how it fit with the entire big. So I decided to go with the modern counters and then, oh my god, it took me forever to make the sim be able to go around the counter and obviously, you know, serve people. Because I wanted the bar to actually be more wide and have half more of a counter, but... I couldn't do it. And then when I went to gameplay and take the screenshots, I realized that the sim can't live. Like, as you can see, she's standing there. Cool. Um, and this is where my sim will be for until I finish the build. So when I went to playtest everything, she couldn't walk away. And I'm like, what the hell, girl? It took me forever. And I realized that the items that I placed underneath the stairs was what making her like not be able to walk through it and I had such a major like it it was very frustrating because it already took me forever trying to figure how to make the counter work which you didn't see because it was frustrating for me I didn't really need to frustrate you too and like having her not be able to do I'm like no I can't do that I can't and we have this area, so I wasn't sure what to do here. Because again, I, as I told you, I didn't really want this to be a normal bar. I wanted it to be more of a tourist location. Not like, you know, some place where locals go to have a drink every day. It's like, you know, as uh, an attraction, if you will. Um, it has all these elements that you go and see and it doesn't have many things to do for fun. Okay, you can drink water, there is obviously like music, you can dance, your sim automatically dances since it's a bar and there's also a TV, but I'm like, okay, you need some stuff to make it fun, you know, for your sims to actually do something. But I didn't feel like, like a foosball table or like uh, the thing with the that throw things in the wall, goddamn, how is it called? Sorry, I have a mild headache. Um, I don't recall. Like the round thing that you throw those little pins. <laughs> I don't know, like these things that came with the get together don't really match, you know, the style of the build and the theme that I went with. So I decided to go with a bubble blower machine I'm not sure if that matches 100%, but like, it gives you something to do. Also, it's one of the items that I add to the bars in my builds, but I never actually use them in game. I don't know why, but I almost never use it, so there's that. And at this point, I was almost done. Then I realized, like, you know, with this room, then I realized that it looks so bare. Like, it doesn't look well, because I remember downloading a bar um, in Discover University, and it was so pretty decorated in the walls, like, it had all these neon signs and posters, and it was truly, you know, a university bar where university students hung out. And I was so blown away by the details that the person added to the walls, I obviously don't remember who did it, it's been so long ago, and like I did it on my personal time let's play. Um, so I really wanted to make the walls be more, you know, seeing the building and be like, oh, cool. And honestly, I didn't know what to add. So I tried my best. I think it looks good. Um, and then you have the bathroom, which is like a three by one tile one. It's completely usable, thank God. But, like, it's a small bar, so I felt like, you know what, who cares? You don't need a huge bathroom. Not a lot of people gather here, which is a positive thing. And then I also found these, which obviously look a lot like they would match the whole thing that I described. 
and I was so happy. Like, I think with small details, it came together and looks pretty, pretty good. Um, what else? I think after that we will go to the screenshots and you will see quite a lot of them because I really wanted to highlight some of my favorite areas that pretty much took forever <laughs> to do and be like and decorate and that is it. Also here in the back I really wanted to add another attraction but it was like an, another attraction, like an activity but I wasn't sure. Also yeah, I really like this addition here. I wasn't sure what to do here because I saw that wall being so bare and I was like, oh, that looks cute. And I added it and you know what? It does much and it does look cute. So as you know, bars in The Sims or like any lot have specific requirements. And that's always the annoying part for me because the requirements are obviously there for a reason. When you have tables, The Sims automatically like the NPCs go sit in the tables, drink, dance and whatever like the requirements make absolute sense but like this is a type of bill that I wish that they didn't have requirements you will see that if you dig down through the woods like the logs um, in the arts <laughs> I buried there some dining chairs and a dining table because I was like, hell no, nah. I don't care, like, it has a theme, it has, like, a personality. It doesn't much to add, you know, normal dining chairs and dining tables here, so I decided to go, you know what, screw you. Also, a good thing, for once, I have already shared the build and it's already in the gallery. So, yeah, thank you so much for watching, I really hope you enjoyed it, and I hope that you'll have an amazing day, and take care, bye!